Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a new projector, this one right here. I just got it and it's working great. I already set it up, um, calibrated it and did everything with it. Um, and I recorded everything so that you guys can follow along and kind of see what I did with it. Um, but like I said, so far it's working great. I love it. It has a really cool feature, which is the screen mirroring feature, which allows you to screen mirror without the cords, except for the power cord like that one, um, which is nice because the cords kind of get messy sometimes. Um, so yeah, I really like it. Um, it is the Thank You Leisure 470. I'm going to link it down below. Um, you can get it there. Also, if you use the coupon code so with Heidi, um, you get 30% off, which is an awesome deal. So if you've been wanting the projector, definitely go get this one. Um, it's working great and you get a cool discount. So check it out. All right, let's get to it. So it comes with some cleaning supply, the instructions manual, um, the projector itself, and then a HDMI cord, a power cord, a control, and another cord, which I'm not sure is for yet. So I'm not able to mount it onto the ceiling quite yet um, because I am renting, so I have this set up. Um, I have a little block here just to bring it up a little higher, and then this little plate here that is screwed onto the block. And then this is just metal PVC pipe um, with that corner piece. And now I'm just going to hang up my projector with this Velcro. So once that's up, you're going to want to measure from your cutting mat to your lens just to make sure you have enough room. The instructions said about 60 is good for what we're going to be using it for. So once I turned it on, it was kind of blurry, so I just moved this over a little bit until it sharpened up a little bit. And now it looks a lot better. And so now um, when you turn it on, it's going to have this. You're going to pick your language. Mine was English, so I picked English. So now I'm going to show you how to hook it up using a cord. Um, so this is an HDMI cord. I'm going to hook it up to the projector up here. Um, and there's a couple places you can plug it in. You can use the HDMI 1, the HD 2, or um, you could even use a USB port. Um, whatever you end up plugging it into, make sure you remember that. Alright, so now grab your uh, control and you're going to press this, uh, it's the source button, and you're going to go down to whatever you plugged into, so if it's a USB or the HD1 or 2, um, and click that one, and now it will show up like this. So now you're going to take your HDMI cord and you're going to plug it into your computer. I have to use this adapter, but if you don't need to, you can plug it right into your computer. Um, turn on that computer and you should be projecting just like that. It's a pretty simple easy way to project Okay, so that was one way to get uh, your computer to start um, projecting onto your cutting mat But there's also an option to do the screen mirroring um, And that way you won't need to hook up any cords your computer can just be anywhere um, And you can uh, project that way. So I'm gonna try to set that up and show you guys Okay, so grab your controller, you're going to push that source button again, and you're going to go down to where it says screen mirroring, you're going to press on that one, and then you are going to set up your Wi-Fi first on um, how to get your computer connected to the um, projector Wi-Fi. So, sorry I flipped my phone, but first go on to your Wi-Fi, you're going to scroll down to where it says leisure 470 and you're going to click on that one you're going to put in the password the password is in the instruction manual um, and it's just one two three four five six seven eight i believe okay so now you're going to go to this website here which is just a few numbers with periods in between and it's going to bring up this you're going to click on that and then you're going to click on where it says scan And then it's going to bring up the Wi-Fi. You're going to click on your home uh, Wi-Fi router. And then you'll just scroll down to the bottom and put in your password. Um, once you do that, it should be um, connected. So now your screen will look like this when you're projecting. That's how you know you're good. So then you're going to go over back to your computer. And you're going to find your Wi-Fi again. Click on it. And then you're going to click on the one that says the Leisure 470. 
click on that wait for it to connect and then you are going to uh, click over to your screen mirroring I have mine set up to be on my toolbar and you can get that set up also if you go to your settings so click on the screen mirroring and then you're going to click on that laser 470 and then it will connect all right so then you'll be connected wirelessly and you'll be able to protect that way Okay, so now that we're projecting, we're going to calibrate it. Um, so I'm going to pull up my uh, grid here that I have. Um, I'll link this down below so you guys can grab it. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, change the number on our zoom so that we match it up um, with our cutting mat. And the zoom here is what we're going to be working with. So we're going to start with a number. Um, I'm just going to pick a random number to kind of try to match up my mat here. Um, so let's just start with like 45. Press enter and then for me I'm going to do control L so that I can make it full screen um, and then see how that is matching up with my mat. Okay, so I'm going to move my mat around. I'm going to try to get that yellow a square in the middle line up with my square in my mat. So as you can see here, the um, yellow in the middle is a lot bigger than my square on my mat. So let's go down a little bit. So I started at 45, let's go down to about 42 on my zoom. And then we'll see where that kind of lands us. And then again, control L to make it full screen move that over and then I'm going to move my mat into that square and as you can see here it's looking a little better but it's still not quite um, where it needs to be it's still a little bit bigger so I'm going to continue to go down so I was at 42 for my zoom I'm going to go down to about 40 for my zoom Press enter and then the L or the control L, make that full screen, see where that is now. Alright, so let's move that around so I can line that up. Um, and then as I can see here, um, the metal box or square is starting to look a lot better. I feel like that looks pretty good in there. Um, so just make sure that's lined up well but my lines on um, that are coming out a little bit more are still not quite where they need to be they're still a little bit off so we're going to continue to go down on that number to see if we can line that up a little better on those lines so I was at 40 so I'm going to go down to uh, 39.5 once I got start to get a little closer on those lines I'm going to go down smaller on those numbers. Okay, so again, looking good in the middle, still super off on my sidelines. Um, so we're just going to continue what we're doing. Okay, so eventually I got down to 38.2. Um, I feel like that looks pretty good. My lines are pretty good. Um, they're a little off when you get out to the edges, but I think for me it's always been that's good enough and not really, oh, that's perfect. Uh, but you can keep on working to whatever you feel comfortable with. Also, if you move up this around, it will move uh, your screen. It will kind of tilt it back and forth. Um, and you can use that also to adjust if you feel like it's not very straight, but your zoom isn't helping with that. So as you can see, it's kind of moving it, tilting it back and forth, and you'll just adjust it until you feel like it's pretty straight on. Alright, so I got my grid here looking pretty darn good. Everything's lining up pretty good, as good as I feel like it's going to get. 
um, and then you won't have to calibrate this every single time. Um, once you figure out what your zoom is, which mine was the 38.2, every time you're going to cut out a pattern, you'll just open up uh, your pattern, and in your zoom, um, you're going to type in whatever zoom you came up with. So let me bring up a pattern so I can kind of show you what that will look like. Okay, so once you pull up your pattern, a lot of the patterns are going to have some kind of grid or a one inch uh, box just to kind of verify that your zoom is correct and kind of just double, triple check yourself um, before you start cutting anything out. So as you can see, mine's up here, there's a little box there that I can use. So go up to your zoom and you're going to put in the number that you came up with, so mine was the 38.2. I'm going to plug that in and uh, set it up. And then I'm going to make it full screen and then I'm going to move that pattern kind of up a little bit so I can find that box, that one inch box. It's here, so you can see. I'm going to take my uh, measuring gauge and I'm just going to measure and make sure that everything is lining up well. So on that one inch box, just I'm going to make sure that that's one inch going across and upwards. And then you can check that other box that they have there. Um, and mine looks pretty good. Measured out one box. And you can also use this grid here that they have. I don't usually like to use that, but you can if you would like. And now you're ready to start cutting out. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. I know getting the projector set up and calibrating and all that can be a little confusing. So hopefully this helped you a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm going to link it down below so you can grab it there with a the coupon. Um, and then also if you have more questions, just comment down below and I'll try to get to them. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.